Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Leo's week ahead for September 20th through the 26th. In this message, we are first going to tap into the energies here with the Psychic Tarot deck. Then we will get an overview message with the Fairy Tarot, dig a little bit deeper into the message with the traditional deck. clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards if that's something you guys are interested in you're more than welcome in joining us so let's see here leo what we can see for you guys for september 20th through the 26th please and thank you most important message here for leo spirit what does leo need to see here for the week of september 20th through the 26th please and thank you Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing, we do here for free personal readings, extended versions, all linked below, and Leo. If you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome, and it does help set your intentions for future messages. I get the sense here, Leo, that there's a, a sense of withholding but I don't feel like you're with really withholding energy from a particular person, place, or thing. I feel like you're just really going within this week and really getting clear on what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. Getting back in touch with your intuition. Let's get one more card out here for Leo and then we'll talk about it. emperor energy on the bottom of the deck i do feel like you are headed in a positive direction here leo um there may be an, a little bit of a need to stand your ground within a situation i do get the energy here of moving on okay so there's somebody or or, or you're moving on from a person or a person's moving on from you but i feel like this is almost like a relief like you're feeling relieved from this person leaving this your surroundings this doesn't have to be a romantic partnership this could also be a friend a family member maybe even a coworker okay i do feel this energy of rejoicing though and i feel like you're it's like you're relieved it's like a relief a sense of relief i also feel like there may be something that you're trying to draw towards you. Let's get a little bit deeper into the message here, Leo. Let's see what we can see for you guys. September 20th through the 26th. Please and thank you. What is the most important message Leo needs to see here, Spirit? important message here for Leo spirit what does Leo need to see here something's being balanced out here something's being tempered feel a sense of nostalgia like you're happy that this is that this is happening that this is coming together so we have the six of summer which is the six of cups energy we also have 
gonna reshuffle these, but these three cards that just came out all together, the moon, the queen of summer, and the wheel, Six of Summer is the Six of Cups. Balance is the Temperance energy. Okay. Is that options? I feel like you're standing your ground in a situation. There's like um, an energy of choosing, making a choice, making a decision here. Okay. So I feel like you have made a decision. There has been a decision that's been made here. Leo, I do feel like you are headed in the right direction here. We have the Ace of Winter. This is the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Victory. This is also truth, clarity in a situation. There may have been an energy here, Leo, or a person in your life that may have been draining Draining you. Asking too much of the situation. Let's get a little bit, a few more cards out here. I do feel this energy of walking away from that, walking away from that toxic energy. Okay, I feel like that's what's moving on. So. Whether this is you, Leo, moving on from this person, or this person is moving on from you, there's a sense of a toxic energy that's clearing, okay? So let's see. For Leo, what does Leo need to see? Now the lover's card can be that soulmate, twin flame, that strong connection. It also can be a choice that's been made here and I'm getting the sense here, Leo, that that's what it's symbolizing. It's a choice that you're focusing on balance. Mm -hmm. Most important message here for Leo. Does Leo need to see here, Spirit? September 20th through the 26th. Ten of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. This is that um, happy, happy times, happy family. Um, this can also symbolize that emotional fulfillment that you receive when you are in union. I do feel like you are trying to manifest happiness into your life. And there is an energy of releasing something in order to do that. You're being called to be practical, even though I feel like there is emotions that are involved here. You are kind of uh, nostalgic, I feel, here for this week. Something's causing you this giddy feeling, this happy feeling, which isn't a bad thing. But what spirit is calling to you, Leo... You need to analyze the situation practically. So try not to get up in the emotional phase. If this is a love connection, okay? I feel those feelings, it's okay. But then take yourself down a notch and really look at the situation practically. Maybe there was no communication. There was an imbalance in communication, I feel like this is what you're moving forward from. Whether this is a person who wasn't talking to you or just not entertaining that energy in general, OK? 
okay there is a person that's surrounding you that's trying to control the situation now the empress in reverse a lot of times it can be a controlling mother it doesn't have to be it can also be like an ex-girlfriend that exudes those controlling tendencies this may even be a person who's trying to control the situation by not communicating right or by controlling the communication i do get the sense of your hip to this game leah you're not playing into that bs and even though it may be difficult to walk away from this situation, I feel like you're focused on the balance. You're focused on your needs being met. You're being very practical. And I also want to acknowledge the fact that we have the king and the queen of pentacles. So I do feel like you are headed, if this is a love connection, you are headed towards a very solid connection. Okay. The Nine of Wands here tells me, Leo, that you are a little guarded to this person coming into your life. Healing is the only way to bring those walls down. And it's going to happen with your hands. And it's going to have to be brick by brick. Let's get some clarity out here, guys for this reading for Leo spirit please and thank you clarify the justice with the king of pentacles nine of wands okay so that nine of wands is coming out heavy guys i feel like you're very guarded from any new connection coming in i honestly get the sense here leo that you're guarded to anything coming in you're going to have to heal you're gonna have to take some time to heal i do feel like you are moving in a positive direction you're releasing toxic energies out of your life making space for a stable, solid, grounded connection. Fill of energy of some of you may be moving away from many options or third party situations here. Okay. But I feel like you're moving away from that for sure. It's definitely not an easy process, right? Because there's some people that want to stay, some people that want to go. Focus on what's going to make you happy, okay? What brings you into a stable, solid place? And guys, when I'm talking about stability, I'm more so talking about emotionally, even though it goes full circle, I'm more speaking on that emotional piece. Because I do feel here, Leo, an energy of kind of imbalance, not, not knowing or uncertainty. And it's causing some fear to move forward. Put your needs first, okay? Focus on what you need in order to want to move forward. What's going to make you happy? going to make you feel grounded what's going to make you feel balanced does this person add value or take it there's definitely seeming like there's a sacrifice that's being made here leo in order for you to move forward and that uncertainty needs to be cleared um and a little bit of these bricks taken out of this wall before that connection is going to come together fully for some of you you may have already met this person for some of you this person isn't going to come into your life until you re release this negative energy we attract the vibration that we're exuding just try to be aware of that So let's get a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward, Leo. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended version, we'll take a 
look into what are the next steps where this is all headed dig a little bit deeper into the message i have pull out a few different oracle decks over there all the fun stuff goes down in the extended if that's something you guys are interested in you're more than welcome in joining us the link is below guys in the description box also that second link is to subscribe and you get access to all of the extended readings for all of the signs second link check it out eight of swords so the eight of swords here is telling me that you're still kind of feeling a little tied to the past but you are working on this energy here okay you're you're working on moving forward there may be some sacrifices you're needing to make I feel like you're working on creating a space for this union to come in. For some of you, you may have already met this person. For others of you, you're kind of creating that space right now. I get the sense here, Leo, um, of taking the time this week because some of you might be um, intrigued to find out that there is a person that's coming into your life soon that's been put on your path by spirit that's going to I feel like help you to understand why any no other connection had worked before but really taking that time to kind of open yourself up so you won't be so guarded when this person comes in is going to be important now for some of you this person is already in your life and you may need to open up a little bit with that person or that person needs to open up a little bit with you and that's going to take time all in due time leo all in due time but i do feel like there is a person either you are experiencing a strong connection with right now or that is going to be coming into your life very soon but you're probably not going to understand why you have such a strong magnetic attraction you just do and a need to trust trust the universe trust the process a little bit so soul journey for leo if you guys are finding that this message has been helpful that it's resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up guys all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. Relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. In this three-dimensional world in which we live, there is a sense that we are separate from one another and also that we meet by chance. This is an illusion. The people in our lives are drawn to us and are here for a reason. It is through sharing experiences and having relationships with others that we begin to understand ourselves. When someone appears in your life, you must see what is not resolved or whole in the person and understand the lesson he or she brings home to you. You draw others to you like magnets in order to learn various aspects of yourself. The people you have chosen close relationships on earth are usually members of your soul family. You've chosen to incarnate together to help each other learn lessons even though it may not seem that way to you now once a lesson is learned, don't be surprised if that person fades away. People are in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. So, in a nutshell, Leo, there is a person that's in your life or has been put on your path for a specific reason for some of you this is a person that's already in your life for others of you this person is about to show up in your life 
you're not going to be able to explain this attraction is exactly what the cards are saying now i do see a little bit of fear surrounding relationships commitment being in union with a person there's definitely a need to kind of take a look at that try to resolve those inner wounds because this could be a very deep connection leo but you could miss this by not letting your guard down now i'm not saying just open up and tell this person everything I do however feel that there are some things that you do withhold that you may at some point need to open up more about with this person than you have before with other people um, and for those of you that's resonating with you're gonna know exactly what i'm talking about okay i am safe in the universe and all of life loves and supports me I breathe in the fullness and richness of life. I observe with joy as life abundantly supports me and it supplies me with more good than I can imagine. I am safe in the universe and all of life loves and supports me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Leo, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.